Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Then you just go into watch Jordan stream and he's on Jordan Gilbert like nothing stream and just having a lot of fun. So we're slowly tuning into the game here and just gonna see what's going on. It seems like we're gonna be live with the knife round here and um, let's see if that's gonna have anything crazy. Like so far we've just been watching jumping rabbits and so on, but uh, that's also pretty much it. So we go. iPhone one. One guy's gonna get caught here, oh and he's not gonna God. get any hit in JW suiciding towards Smith here. Rambit OP. Rambit's simply too long. His ar I think his arms are longer than everyone else's, <laughs> <laughs> that is cheating. And Ooh. MDK going in a bit of a rampage there. <laughs> oh, Zion is actually, oh he's got tech now, but he could win this because all his tech, but he's not gonna do that. He's just in the to scream. Nah, you're gonna die. I'm so taking you down. <laughs> what side do they pick? Most likely switch. But they're actually deciding to stay. So that is interesting. That means that they have a lot of confidence in their double orb setups and so on. Yep. So that's pretty nice. Scream also buying an orb. Most of you probably <laughs> he's also gonna miss a, a fairly easy shot here in the pregame. Like mm. I don't know if any of you saw the, the video highlight on of Scream on YouTube, but if you don't, go on to YouTube and search Scream Orping and you'll find <laughs> a pretty funny clip because it's funny how a guy who just has such an incredible good aim just can miss like that with all, but it's just different, you know? It's different yeah. from rifling and it's, and yeah. What's, what's interesting to me as well about the, the choice, because on Dust2, CT side feels a lot harder and there's a lot more pressure. So sometimes, even though even though it's like the weakest side in, some, in many senses to play on Dust2, yeah. where that's how it feels, you want to get it out of the way with first, because when you switch over, you don't want to have the this one half be no. everything, like exactly. mean the end of the match. So it's, it's a kind of a weird thing that you don't yeah. see on a lot of other maps, I feel, I feel like. And looks like we're getting live. Titan versus Fnatic, the last game of week two here for the face at CSGO Spring League. And Titan and Fnatic are going to clash now on Dust 2. It is the Pistols. And a straight B push coming in here. You can see one of the Fnatic players is going to try to draw as much attention in the middle as possible. While well, they're just pushing straight into B. And let's see how that is going to be handled by the Titan players. Great Molotov coming out there. And Titan seems more than ready for this. Existence straight on in. He's going to get two straight away. NBK getting a lot of help from his teammates. And Fnatic between a rock and a hard place and a lot of smoke. And it's going to be prone actually pops out to drop screen, but I really don't think Flush has got enough to do this. And he's going to get taken out by Kenny S. So, pretty simple pistol around us. <laughs> That's very straight up. Oh, we're just going to rush speed. Yeah, exactly. They had the spawn and they probably had a good feeling about it, but Titans were three guys towards B, and then it's never easy to get in. And that Molotov screen, is yeah, very Yeah, Scream even decided to, to use the Molotov, so unlucky by Fnatic, it's not. Like it's not common to use a, a Molotov that early in the round. Like it's very good to serve the B pushes, but it's also a heavy investment. It's yeah. 600 bucks, and you could potentially waste it because it's not a lot. Of a lot of teams was just going to rush straight into B. So, but that means you can say that it was kind of a risk, but it paid off this time. And uh, here we go. Just the anti eco and rifles versus pistols. Kenny S didn't buy anything at all. Still on his USP. Obviously saving for that AWP. Where would you, s you expect Penny S just to be rocking mid? Yeah, rocking mid for sure. And when he's been rocking mid enough and people are going to try to avoid him, he's going to go long and stay around the car area. And actually Snyder doing a lot of work here, picking up a hat trick and Existence Snyder going to try to close him down, but being aggressive at this short area. There goes Snyder. Can get taken down by Smith? Bit of a scary round there and this is going to be really annoying because now Kenny S is obviously going to have to rebuy the armor and everything. And it's still going to go for the AWP. It has enough, so that's good. He saved so much money. It's kind of interesting to go for the AWP now because they know that Fnatic haven't been getting the bump plant. And when they haven't been getting the bump plant, they know that you do not have a lot of money. And if you want to buy with not getting the bump plant, that means that you need to hold Whoa. a full eco and they're going <laughs> to rush up to the middle because they expect them to have weapon round. This is a strategy they use a lot at SCT also. But nonetheless, it's probably going to work against pistols anyway. It's not like it's going to be useless then, but I think they expected Fnatic to go for mm. a force buy. He's going to fall back or he's, he's going to get taken down and that's exactly what happens. Existence is there though and scary times coming in for for Titan. They lose two players and now they're three on three and some weapons being picked up by the remainder of Fnatic. As Flasher almost getting a free one on the MPK and Kenny S with that AWP. He's got to put in a lot of work. They cannot lose this round. If he loses his AWP at this point, it, it's just unspeakably horrible. Yeah, it and is. And look at that, tossing over a weapon to Flusher as he goes to plant the bomb. Very smart stuff indeed. Flusher covering short. And he needs to step up huge if they want to win this round. He really does. 
It's got to deal with Kenny S on the orb. Existence with an M4. MVK with the Famous. And they are going to coordinate. There's no doubt about that. Existence might just be enough by himself, and he will. So Devil Walk left with a pistol. Not much he can do. So a good save from Titan overall, but heavy losses. Kenny S almost going down as well. But that was a very scary round, like... The aggression that NC Eco didn't really pay off, and I said it earlier, and I'm just saying it again. I think that they expected Fnatic to be on a force buy and like surprise them, but instead Fnatic was doing another Eco round, and yeah, they just got catched very aggressive with the orbs, uh, with the weapons, while they were hiding in the corners with the pistols. So honestly, JW is going to go for that pick on along. This should be quite interesting, but unfortunately for him. There is no one quick to the angle, so won't find anything just yet. Smith's going to move into one of the most annoying positions here. It, I don't know why, but it's so easy to forget about you know, checking that position. Yeah. That's here goes Very Kenny great nade from Kenny S towards Snyder, who's going to be taking down to half HP here. And JW still looking to get the entry on long, and is he going to meet up with NBK anytime soon? So far, it doesn't seem like it, and they're just slowly trying to gain some map control, and... But the longer we wait, the faster they're going to take short. So they're just gaining control now. Smoking off middle and flashing short. Kenny, uh, JW is going to see some action maybe soon on long as he has some, uh, some enemies approaching there. And looks like they are making their push around short, just taking that map control. They got the tunnels, they got short, they got mid. And of course, they did have longhouse. So opening up all these options, but what are they going to go for? This is still not completely clear. They are all lining up for mid. They're going to get the pick there on mid. And did they see anything else? Looks like not much more than just that single player. And this guy's going to be left all alone and be only six seconds. He's going to push through this morning. Flash is coming in. He's deciding right now if he's going to do it. And that so far doesn't seem like it. Kenny here in B. He's going to get one as he actually smits, and then he's going to get taken down. So it's a 3-on-3 three three situation now, and Snyder's very aggressive. He's going to fall back, which is also the clever move to do in this situation, and he's going to initiate the bump land. And it's going to be a retake from Titans coming in here, and a post plant situation for Fnatic. And Snyder has one flash, so it's going to be interesting to see when he's going to use this flash. So here we go. Three men left for Titan, two with orps in their hands. This is going to be very difficult indeed. And I'm kind of surprised that they think to go with this, with those orbs still. But Kenny S is going to show us just why, but Devil Walk is there. And Kenny is going to miss his flicks. He's uh, oh coming in, there's the double. God. And that is what you were telling me about today. That CZ as the, the handoff from the orb exactly. is a pretty good pistol. And he gets four kills in this round. Immense play by Kenny S, picking up four kills and gets one with the orb and gets another one into the retake and B and just swaps out the CZ and get a double kill very quick. And he's sitting on the defuse, and MBK is coming with the defuse kill, and they even made the swap so that had they had the time for the defuse. And just overall, great play by Titans, and they are already having four rounds of CT, which is most likely not going to be the favorite side of this game. <laughs> JW is playing with fire there. Trying to go AK against Orb from T spawn. And as Titan occupy long, and again we see Fnatic playing the very slow standard round, which is all about map control two in the tunnels. One on the long, one on mid, and one around the spawn. So they have a big stretch to control. The only thing they don't really have just yet is short, and I think that's what they'll really aim to be getting soon. Exactly. And we talked about it earlier, like Devil Rock having this kind of very passive position, and he's going to work his way towards pro uh, Pronex now, and they're going to go towards B, I think. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's going to be the case. But Devil Walk's got the bomb there, and he, this is kind of a it's kind of a risky position to have the bomb, actually, because yeah. if he gets killed... It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. How, y how are you going to recover it? Chronix is alone out in the middle now. He's just going to try to force destruction. And then they're going to push four guys through the tunnels area. And Chronix here, what is he going to get out of this? Well, this could be a, a worthy distraction, but actually there, all the frags going down as they approach into B. And they will actually secure the site. It's three on three at the moment. And Kenny, yes, with that all, what can he do? He took down four players last round, but he's in the same position again. Well, and here is Existence to back him up, but life is going to be really hard. Oh, oh no! Lord. <laughs> Kenny oh S my God, gets another. the slider at the very least. There's one guy left, it's JW. He's got an orb and he's going to go for the shot. And unbelievable. <laughs> I guess he had to go for it. I mean, he's in a one on two and he needed a fast kill to put it to a one on one. The patience from Kenny was very good. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's not phased by just capping his friend in the face. <laughs> what the hell? Nonetheless, like, 
Kenny is a young guy, and in a V6 situation like that, you could be like thinking that you should just move quickly up to B, but he just used the patience because he was low health, so he was he was just waiting for the Fnatic guys to enter his crosshair, and they did, and Existence did too, but he manages to win the round for them. So 5-0 to zero right now. Titan, uh, it's not easy. A lot oh. of these rounds are really hard for them, yeah. and not, it's not necessarily ever clean, but they are, they are getting the rounds on the board, and that's what counts. And we see, again, a lot of control over in Dark here from the Fnatic's like side. Pronax last round got out in this middle area very easy, so I think he's going to flash his teammates out because that they didn't put enough enough focus towards that, and that's exactly what's going to happen there. That's a great flash right there for Devil Wolf to get out. Really, really well done. There goes the smoke. Now it's obvious what's happening for Titan. Can they hold on, though, whilst they get their reinforcements? Will the cavalry arrive in time? JW to drop Scream. And Devilwalk makes his way into the site, catches the last man at the back of Plateau as Smith falls. It's a three on four now, and they may just be thinking about the save. What do you think? Yeah, if we take a look at the money situation, it's not entirely great, so they should just go for the save, and it also seems like that is what is, what is going to happen. NVK is going to get one kill, though, while he's trying to just slowly move away here. And the thing is, even if they're looking for the save, they can still take down weapons from uh, Fnatic, and that's exactly what they're going to do so far. And Fnatic not having a lot of money either, so... It's crazy. They've won five in a row, but their money is crippled. That's yeah. how well Fnatic have been doing. It's yeah, exactly. Same. And Devilwalk just looking to take the save cross. He's afraid of Kenny as waiting with all, but Kenny is just all the way down along, so... You don't need to be afraid right now. So there we go. Five to one, Fnatic getting the first round on the board. And that's that's going to feel good. That's going to feel very good. But still, it's it's a long road ahead, and it's not as if Titan are forced to an eco now. Definitely, oh. they have some weapons still. Yep. So things are. It's going to be very fragile for them. This is the this is the round where Fnatic can start to screw over the money. So they might want to be thinking about taking some risks here. And the team which loses this round is most likely going to eco in the next. So it's actually a double round win here if you win this one. We're aggressive on short and mid actually. I like that from NBK there. They haven't done that yet. Didn't get anything from it this time, but it's a nice little thing to throw in the mix. Yeah, exactly. Like he gets a little information. Like he, he knows now that they're not working entirely fast to work short, so they need to use a lot of flashes to force them away from short because they don't know that NBK just directly moved back to long. So so far, pretty nice control by Titans, like forcing Fnatic to be very very slow around the map and. Uh, Fnatic are going to initiate some B action here with Snyder bouncing the slow into the middle here. Just going to try to roll back close to sure that nobody's there, so it could be that they're going to work out in the middle again. Kenny S with the Asimov AWP wait, lying in wait. And he will find Pronax. Such a nice little flick there from Kenny, and that's what we expect yeah. from the man. And that's wh how the position is really strong, because if he misses that shot, he's at no risk. He just drops down, and he's fine. Exactly. He can always drop down, and he's going to look for more, but they're very afraid, and they're going to walk into the aim of Switch Smith now, and he's going to get one, and he's going to swap out the nade and do a decent amount of damage, but he needs to get another one. He's not going to do that. The B bumps that could be taken now. GW with the orb, and we've seen this earlier. He can do a lot of great things with this, and he's going to get one. And Snyder actually in a very great position here. I don't think they're going to expect this. And actually, it seems like the long guy went through T-spawn, so he's not yeah, going to catch anyone. But, but Snyder doesn't know this either, so this could also catch them by surprise. And Snyder does go down as well. Existence deals with the flanking player. They don't have to worry about that anymore. 2-1-2, two two, the bomb is ticking away. It's getting faster and faster and faster. And it's only NBK left now, coming in from the tunnels. And JW, oh, he gets stink there. He's getting low, and NBK, can he make this work? He's got the pistol. He does pull it out in time, but there's just no more time on the clock. And that bomb is going to explode. So He's going to get the orb, maybe, on the B side. Let's see here. Oh. Nice. Gets uh, Kenny's orb back for him. And Kenny they don't have a lot happy. of money, but because they saved this orb, they're most likely going to initiate a force buy with pistols and pharmacists. And mm. uh, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to see in this round. So the max seven on the board for for Smith also. Fnatic is playing really well, even though they're. Need, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I was just taking a sip of my water. <laughs> Watching Snyder crouch out into the <laughs> crosshair. Was he like trying Kenny. to pick <laughs> up a gun or something? Yeah, I he was trying to pick up uh, JW's orb, but <laughs> it looked kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So three to five. 
And this is again, you know, like you said, it was the four spy coming in from Titan. So this was this is a round that if Fnatic won, they're guaranteeing themselves like a couple of good eco, free, yeah. a couple of free rounds. So that they've blown that <laughs> they've blown that chance completely. Yeah, it seems like it. Unless unless something happens here. Let's see what Fnatic can pull together with just three men. Devil Walk, Pronax and Flusher. Are the remainers. towards B, but one guy is very aggressive on short here. And that's going to be a flusher, and let's see what he's going to do. Let's flush it. Oh, I think he sees a little through the smoke. Just waiting for Kenny to step out. Kenny not doing that so far, but Dylan Walk is going to wa walk his way up to Pronex, who picked up JW Salt. Just waiting for anything to happen. Kenny oh, Kenny just, just yeah, he's, he's got this. And Devil Walk's going through now, he's actually making the entry frag to B. As Kenny takes down one player, and Devil, he's got a lot to deal with. He's going to go down, and Pronax just can't get anything done there either. And that is a big opportunity out the window for Fnatic. Yeah, and so far, both of our predictions seem to go our way because we both tipped Titans win. I said that they were going to win kind of big, and so far that seems to be the case because they're leading 6-2 to two a CT in, in this situation, and the funny thing to notice is, why are they in spawn? I can quickly explain that. It's a pretty common thing to do when you're behind and your things are not really working. Pronax is going to say, guys, what's going on? They're going to talk about how is it the Titans are playing? How are they rotating around the map? They're going to talk about all the information that you know, like, are they smoking off long every round? And what are they doing? Which kind of places could be the, the weak places for Titans? And while they're just talking about this eco, which is a round which they're going to pretty much lose anyway, They'll just gain a lot of information from their teammates, which they maybe don't have the chance to convert in the middle of the rounds. And this information Pronix is going to use to call the great tactic in the next round, which is going to fit towards the Titan's uh, defense. Pronix is just going out to die here, and they're just around the low area, probably going to commit to a sword here. And Scream is going to finish it. And it is definitely important to take time. I mean, having that ability to to have a timeout in the game without actually pausing is is really useful like, for all the reasons that you stated. I mean, we see this a lot in, in a lot of professional sports. I mean, the coach is like subs in one guy for another. He's like, guys, what, what are you doing? Or like, you know, have a change of strategy. You get the breather you need. And Fnatic now maybe have s maybe some a new idea with how to approach this half. Maybe they have boosted morale. Let's see what they're able to accomplish now. They're force buying this round with them um, with two Galils on the board and <coughs> they're not gonna have a lot of grenades, so Dalewalk is just gonna work his entry towards long and he's probably gonna meet up with the existence who's very aggressive in this round. Gonna hide behind the blue container and they're gonna try to gain control over tunnels. Kenny's most likely gonna get the entry here. And he does indeed, that's very important information they're gonna get now. And this is the first time they've really tried to push out long, but wow, look at this setup coming in from Titan. It is very good. There's one player left there on the long house. It is Pronax. Oh, he's blind. There comes the pistol from Existence, but just missing the opportunity. But I don't think Pronax is getting out of there alive. So far, it doesn't seem like the choice is caught in this corner. And two and three times oh. they're looking towards him. That was a very strong shot there from Pronax. He is really trying to make this work. Kenny S coming in, though, and all the way from B Tunnels. That's the last time we saw him. Exactly. So, well played to Titan again. And Assistance was just working this angle, just shooting all the time, waiting for someone to support him with a flash. And while he was running kind of out of bullets, the flash was initiated. Assistance went out to shoot, but he only had four bullets left. But nonetheless, it made the rotation uh, come because he was just shooting and shooting which forced Pronax to wait because he didn't want to walk into the pre-fire of Existence. So actually a clever play by Existence in this situation. And Snyder's rotating behind Existence. I don't think he has a clue about this. And it was very nice as well that we saw the aggressive play coming in. But let's have a look see if Snyder can catch these facts. He does catch one just trying to survive. They probably won't challenge it now. And it was really nice to see the aggressive play on B. That was the first time we saw that where they tried to just Mix it up a little bit, get a lot of information, and then straight away after that pick, they they knew more or less what was going on. Yeah, they knew that it had to be towards A or something because they saw only one guy, so they were just rotating back very quickly. And Titans was already expecting this long push by NBK towards the pit area, and Existence was uh, uh, towards the blue container, and they had one guy on site. So pretty much a nice read coming in from Titans, and it seems like it's going to be kind of the pistol around here. They're going to initiate something towards B at least, and one guy's in lower. So 
think I've taken down another one. Very quick round coming out here. The madness, the chaos. MBK and Scream coming in from B to try to be the cleanup crew in this situation. There are three players still lurking around for Fnatic in the lower dark area. Here they go straight into mid now. Got to combine their efforts all together. They march. There's a the smoke down. They've got to try to get through onto that beach site before that smoke is space. Here they go. Scream there to lock it down. And he's going to get the next as well. Flusher falls. And there we go. 9 to 2. Titan. Are, I mean, we've seen a lot of kind of almost one sided games today, except the first game. But that looked one sided too at the start. Yeah. So let's see. I mean, Fnatic can still. They can still bring this back, but nine rounds on the CT side is extremely <laughs> strong. And Kimmy is going to lose to be aggressive in the middle here. And it seems like it's going to be an A split coming in from Fnatic here. So, so far they're dutching Kimmy. They're going towards existence and MBK. And existence is going to get the first kill onto Devil Walk. And they already have the long control now, so they know that the rest of the guys is going to push towards the short area. That's gonna get a lot of information. Steam is, Steam is running up, but a drop down to spawn and a team kill from JW onto Flushy with an 8. None of this a 3 on 3 situation here, and this is actually doable for Fnatic. Are they gonna get their third round? Pronix with a nice headshot onto Smith now. That was sick indeed. JW now just on top, looking above the smokes. Really good play there. This is coming in. Does manage to take one down. It's just Pronax left. They can't lose this round, and Pronax, can he get this spray to work for him? Existence coming up. He's He's got less and less health. Finally, he will fall. And the hope as well for Fnatic is falling with it because 10 rounds on CT side, that is so damn good. It's very good, yeah. And it seems like they're not only going to be left out, out with 10 rounds, but possibly 11, 12, or maybe even 13. Yeah. So they look very strong. I imagine that feeling when you, you switch over. You're a CT now. So like, and that's the score. Yeah. Oh, Especially if they don't get three rounds because then they know that if they lose the pistol round, it's game over. So... They need to get one or maybe even two rounds more to even stand a, a little chance. Still so there they go. Through a few of them trying to get some position on long. Doesn't commit them in any in any sense, but it really does it really does make things difficult. And how the hell did Ken BK get in that position there? <laughs> they do manage to cut him down as he was kind of the the separating the separator between the players there for Fnatic. And Ken yes, he is the one to challenge them now, long range with the AWP. I wouldn't want to be in their shoes. And it's a two on three though, and they do have B. So the bomb is rotating all the way around. We see Devil Walk just hightailing, is sprinting as quickly as he can, but Titan know what's up. Yeah, they do for sure. And this guy in lower, it's gonna be interesting. Devil Walk is very, very scared of pushing him. There's good reason for that. And Kenny's gonna equalize the situation now. And Kenny's gonna see the bump here. If he's gonna take this guy down, they're gonna win this round. Tap, 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 and he's gonna find Devil Walk's head, and it's just Flusher now, one on two. He can still do this. They're both very low, but one of them is Kenny S, and one of them is Scream. And there they are, just rattling off some shots there in the upper tunnels as Flusher is desperately trying to stay alive. 20 seconds, and he needs to bump, and he needs to go back to the bump side. So he's very busy, and maybe too busy. Scream, man. He you said has it been yourself. Having conversations with Michael Flatley. He's <laughs> the tap dancing king. <laughs> so yeah, that's the thing. Like a lot of other players would just start sitting down and spraying in, in that situation when you miss the first or the second tap. But he's just believing in his aim, and it works out for him. So here we go. Next round, and they need the four rounds. It's so bad, and here they go, charging up, and that is great. Kenny S yes, was making the aggressive play on short. He, get qu he got caught out there by Fnatic, and here goes Existence. He gets caught as well on long, so this is shaping up very well for Fnatic. Just MBK to deal with on long. He's going to get taken down by JW, so it's just Scream, really, that's on the side to stop them. So far, he's making some frags, and he's leaving Smiths with a one on two. That is, that is doable. That's very doable. Here he goes. Spot the head of one player. And the frag, he's going to pop off Snyder's head. The bomb is not down. This is a big deal. Devil Walk has to plant that. This is a moment that Smith can move in. And he's doing just that. There he goes. Devil Walk. Can he make this work for Fnatic? Rallying off the shots again. So tense right now. Just dancing around these boxes. And Smith gets closer and closer and closer. They can't kill each other. The pistol comes out. <laughs> what is happening now? Devil Walk. And then the smoke is falling from the sky. They're both still alive. What is happening?
happening right now? And he can't find him due to the smoke. What is happening? <laughs> this is just ridiculous. And oh, oh Lord! Oh, Devil the Walk! <laughs> And the jet in game is going huge, and I'm pretty <laughs> sure that the Twitch chat is also going to go huge. <laughs> Kenny S says the worst ending for that fight. I don't, I don't know if I agree with that. I think the jump headshot that encapsulated <laughs> what that fight really was just absolutely random. Oh, Jesus, that was just crazy. <laughs> yeah, when you can't hit oh. them when you're standing still, like, then just do it when you're in the air, like, no trouble. We didn't see the knives come out. I mean, <laughs> where was the man mode? <laughs> the knives. I don't know. Nice little interesting pop flash there from yeah. Flush. I like that. We've got to copy that one. But actually, already we're seeing Kenny S trying to make some work here for Titan because they are behind quite a few, quite a few players. Well, already they were before that one frag. Fnatic able to take control of the B bomb site now, and this is their chance for the fourth round. JW on the flank. They're watching that, and this is very crucial. This is the shot, but still, he's going to slow their progress. And Flusher goes aggressive into that mid area. And this is looking great for Fnatic. Seems like they're going to get the fourth round here. Flash is going to get caught here, and Kenny is very low. JW is going to take him down, and it's all onto NBK here with a nice headshot, but he's going to get taken down by Devil Wall. Getting to 11 to 4 half here. It's that not looking is, too promising. That is hard. I, I would love to see it, just because for it to be real, it's going to be great. Yeah, that, that, is, that is true. And we're instantly going live here, so both teams are just feeling confident enough swapping sides here. And um, let's see, the, the pistol round is very important for Fnatic here because this is pretty much going to be game over. So. Indeed. I hope we see another incredibly anticlimactic fight again. <laughs> that <laughs> was just wonderful. <laughs> right, so let's see how this pistol round goes. So far, things are slow as a decoy into the B1 site, but. Fnatic are not phased. Kronax there. Guarding. Watch for with Schneider. Backing him up. And I like this little setup. Schneider is drawing some attention there. MBK not going to expect this. Kronax to drop him. And that's a nice little lead that they have now. But Schneider and JW are fairly low. And this cat push is coming. And they go into the site. Glock spamming away. But they are yet to find any frags. Fnatic are holding well right now. Schneider coming back in from long here. He goes to the USP. Oh, lovely stuff there from Schneider. Grabbing two, and existence is left alone against four. Not gonna happen. Nope. Most likely not. I mean, Schneider with the triple headshot in this round. Didn't seem to connect in the beginning, but suddenly pulling up two amazing shots onto Catwalk. Yeah. And then what do you think about the USP with the silencer removed? I think that's ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't understand no. that. It's the thing is, if you look at the two pistols, they have the exact same stats. The only difference is that the silence has a silencer, which makes you kind of silent, and the other weapon has more bullets and one more in the magazine. So there's no reason to remove the silence. Yeah. Then it's just like weird, I think. But yeah, because you like the sound. Better. Yeah. Maybe. I right, don't it reminds know. you of 1.6 or something. I don't know. There's that nostalgia value. But we move into. An eco round, Fnatic picking up the incredibly important pistol. Yeah. So, Fnatic to take this back, what are you expecting them to try to do? They need to not drop too many uh, weapons in these anti eco so, so far starting off very bad. A nice hit coming in from Scream, and they're looking for more. They're dinging Schneider. Wow, they're actually taking the site down here. And JW, you know, he's only got a pistol. He wants the AWP for the next rounds, but he's not even necessarily going to get the round because his team are scrambling to try to deal with this bomb plant situation. Pronax is moving in now from long. And then he will spot MBK. And look at the control coming in from Pronax. He is oh just looking Lord. fantastic. He does manage to pick up the frags, and he will s save the situation. But JW went down. Flusher went down. Yeah, but great aim by Pronax, not even being scared of that situation, just one tapping all the over the board. And he's going to get three lovely headshots in that round. And um, a scary moment for Fnatic, but they, they make it uh, work in the end. So No but head armor for you, JW. Nope, but uh, at least a Byron coming in from Titans here due to another bomb plant. And uh, JW needs to make work of this. Oh, we talked about him being so good yesterday. Today he's only sitting on 11 frags so far, so it's not like he's going to do anything totally crazy, but he needs to step up on the CT half because they need big performances. Great Molotov there, actually. Even if you're S completely blind, it's, it's kind of nice to just allow you to get into a position. Yeah. That's the danger of the, the, 
B spawns, isn't it? It's you, yeah. you can't get into position quickly enough. And so that really secures that for them. JW, what can he get done from this mid position? I mean, what do you think of the setup we're seeing from Fnatic uh, on the CT side? Pretty common, like, JW is going to make sure that they cannot enter the short area here. And even if there's a smoke, he's going to try to watch above it. And you see if we can go to him. He's just trying to flame above the smoke. So far, not connecting. And a pretty common setup from the CTs where they're just going to retake. If they should decide to go for short, the CTs are just going to wait down and long and they're going to retake the A bump side. And Flush is going to be the, like, the key player to connect here. If they're going to go towards A, he needs to take some contact and then fall back. If they go to B, he needs to help De Deadwalk and JW with the B split. But so far it seems like Titans are moving their way to A. And this means that there's going to be a post plan position for the long areas here. Where they're just going to wait out for NBK and it's always the game of the waiters. And you normally see Get Right also here. Mm. It's just very interesting. Who can wait the longest? And just not having Cat at all, that's really stressful. Because yeah. Fnatic, like you said, they're, they're going to have to deal with post plant. Because there's no way they're stopping the plant. So there goes some good smokes. And, and actually, wow, that Molotov. That is that is fantastic. That delayed the plant quite a bit. Might not matter too much, but those are the, are the little things that can really help in the long run. And we have Kenny S with the plant. And we have Fnatic scrambling for the, the retake. And they're coming in from long. And they're coming in from short. And they make this happen. So far, it's looking bad. Only Pronax and Flusher remaining. Existence and Smith with some huge kills. Pronax, though, ooh, giving Existence some some love right there at the end. But it's going to be around for, for Titan. Yeah. And we ended up in the postman position. And even if Snyder won the game against NBK and Long, the mind game, they still didn't manage to win the retake because very nice play on short area by by Existence and, and his teammate. Totally locking down that the the retakes. Yeah, Fnatic were completely blind after JW kind of didn't like his position anymore in mid, and then he just left it completely. Yeah. And that that's got to be so stressful to be so blind on mid. Exactly, it is. And you see Eek around coming in from uh, from Fnatic here, yeah, and most likely going to be third, six, to six. And they're just having close on with these pitch pitches, and Deadwall is looking to connect. Not going to happen. Smith is going to get the entry. Flash is doing a lot of damage onto Kinesio, and he's going to fall back to a passive position. So Flusher making his way through. Kinesio playing defensively with the rest of his teammates here. He's got to be really careful, actually. Uh, not much help. Dropping the AWP would be very sad times indeed. We'd have to get a team to pick it up at the end of the round. But we have Fnatic slowly trying to find some heads to shoot off here. Pronax will find one, but not an angle to use. So slowly but surely. And so Fnatic are picked apart. This is just slowly working his way into B and it's working perfectly and Prince is going to be one. Can you the low HP just waiting? And he's going to drop it to the end. That's just like the, the gain you get from waiting even if you're low HP. Like, don't be panicked or anything. Just wait for your teammates to come and help you and hold simple angles with the orb because no matter what they're going to run into a crosshair at some point. And do you notice how Kenny S picked up the CZ on the floor there? Ooh, he wants it. You're telling me it's the AWP's best friend. <laughs> it is, before. it is, for sure. Actually, the aggressive push from Fnatic here, going two guys into lower dark. And they're going to connect with the first guy in over here, and it's going to be the trade two for two. And Kenny is go also going to get taken down, so it's actually going to work out great for Fnatic Bomb in this down. round. <laughs> totally. Oh, man, the, the MVK and Scream, how can they handle this situation? Looks like JW is going to make the decision very easy for MVK. And just Scream, one on three. Bomb down up a tons. It's uh, what should he do? For the <laughs> how should he do this? Headshots. Simple headshots. Just headshots. Go for it, Scream. You can do it. And so I can see a Scream's able to accomplish it. There's one player on the right. And that was kind of nope. weird. Like JW could see half of uh, Scream's body, but Scream couldn't see anything of JW. So yeah. it was just kind of a dance around the wall. 13 to 7. Now the score. So things did tighten up a little bit, but still, this is really hard for Fnatic because once you start getting on the ropes money-wise on the CT side of Dust2, it just, because, I mean, orbs are so, so important, it starts to feel really difficult. Sure. And then Kenny pretty much needs to work an entry in this round because, ooh, nice flashes coming on to middle and JW is completely flashed here, but they're not going to push towards it. He's just not smoking off CT spawn, and you can see that JW is kind of scared. He's using both of his flashes very early, but it's going to be a straight B push onto the tunnels. And here comes a grenade from Kenny. Making their way into the site, all through the smoke. 
And it's going to work so far, but Devil Walk is there to stop some. And it's a three and three now. They have the sight though, but there are Fnatic players very close. They might be able to delay this, but no, Kenny S says, no. Flusher gets dropped from the window as Existence covers the flank. But there is Schneider, who is in, in very close to that window position. But here is Prolax as well, coming in from the flank. Two on two, and the bomb was only just planted, so Schneider can wait quite a while to sync up with his teammate here. And he's even smoking off Kenny here. This, this looks pretty good now for Fnatic. They can do this and make their way through that smoke. So, so amazing. And now they're two on one against Kenny S. He is put against the back against, his, uh, against the wall and he's moving through the smoke. Doesn't even know where he is. I don't know. <laughs> that must also be the possibly worst position to yeah. be in. And that's the great smoke. Is it time? There's got to be time. Yeah. Oh, that's time. That's oh. <laughs> that, was close. <laughs> that was close. But that, yeah, you're right, that, that smoke. Yeah, very nice. That is an amazing smoke. Yeah, and he's just sitting there like, what can you do? Like, if he decides to go out towards the, the B-bump side, the window guy is going to uh, yeah, take him in. And if he goes out the other way, the dark guy is going to get him. So, And if there's like a smoke dead on you, sometimes you're just like looking at the radar. Where am yeah, I? Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to like, move around. Exactly. That's always awkward. <laughs> but uh, here we have a 13-8 to scoreline now between Titan and Fnatic. The Titan side have been proving themselves to be quite a test for the Swedes. And Fnatic are stepping up so far on the CT side as they need to with such a horrendous first half for them. So let's see now if Titan are going to be able to do anything with these pistols. It's looking quite interesting. They are setting up for something either on mid or cat. If they just bulldog JW, maybe they can get him down. He's missing a lot of shots. There goes the CZ and it's not quite good enough this time. And they actually do get JW down. And that, that's actually kind of a result because Smith is able to pick up the AWP. And they actually get some control or could get some control on the B site if they're really fast and get a really clean kill over here. And they actually make this happen. It's like Smith is going to go down. Smith makes his way around the side through the tunnels onto the site. But it was too far to run him. Smith he is just... I mean, he couldn't help. No, a nice flashbang coming in from Fnatic on the rotation, like coming from CT spawn, just mm, yeah, just raining in with flashes above the wall and completely blinding the terrorists trying to push here. So nice play by them, and um, it's going to be another weapon round and another orb on Kenny. And this is trying to orb a bit in the middle. Actually, going to connect with JW, taking him down with 32 HP. That's actually quite nice. Every yeah. little bit of damage helps. And well, speaking of which, yeah. MBK <laughs> taking a grenade. Catching it with his mouth. <laughs> that hurt. Here's the load. So let's see now. They're all left on the B bomb site. Only two players in tunnels at the moment. And again, we're just seeing the, the battle of map control going on right here. Exactly. You just see how patiently they're working. And Kenny's just watching in the middle area here. He's just trying to see if JW is going to go one step too far out. And so far, it's not going to happen. And that means that they need to take control over short because they need to force rotation for Fnatic so that they're not going to contest the short area so quickly. Because if they are very aggressive on short, Fnatic is going to have fast rotation in the back of uh, of Titans if they're going to go towards the B. I do like that Fnatic do have a nice setup on short, because it's not so often that we've seen very strong setups coming in on the short, just dedicated to that cat area. But they have it this round, so if Titan do decide to go for that, they are going to be in for a surprise here. And as you said, that rotation time, the amount of time it takes from them to get from that position to support middle if it if they need to. They they have a very strong, strong position for sure. And it looks like we're gonna see Titan moving towards B. Perhaps into the wall cross set. There they go. Scream nice double nice headshot from down. Scream. Scream is the man. Existence as well coming in with a, a flank kill through the double doors. Unaware but Pronax will silence him. But Flush he's straight on in through the window. Putting it to a two-on-one. Pronax can do this, though. He's got one player, MBK, on seven health and 16 on screen. But there goes MBK from the back. But Pronax turns around and drops him. So now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. So bomb is taking away. Here he goes through the window. Scream by the big box. Looking for the heady. Not quite going to find it just yet. But there it is. Scream with a massive round. Three frags. What a player. Just crazy player. Crazy player. And very little money on... Fnatic, but they need to buy in this round, so... Look at Kenny S, he's got 29 kills. That is pretty Beasting good. It. Kenny S, pretty good pickup. Yeah, pretty good pickup. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good player, like... 
When you lose a player like Shox and you need someone to fill your shoes, you want a very good player, and Kenny is that for sure. It's like the only option almost. And yeah. Here is Snyder goes. Look at this mag action. Straight up in the tunnels. Jump. Couple of shots. This will go down. Scream is on fire right now. It's not even funny, is it? It's not even a joke at this point. Scream is just beasting it. And Scream is soon to follow to Kenny S's one. score. As it's just Devil Walk left now. That rampage. Just headshots from Titans right now. Like That's also something like it's hard to anti strat or do anything against. Like When you have five players who are as good as the Titan players are and they're just very good on the aiming on the day and it's just difficult no matter what so and look at this it's 15 to 9 and what are we seeing on Fnatic's side Pepsis. that does not look good at all and seems like the score prediction might be dead on yeah or close to dead on unless Fnatic can do something wonderful in this round and the K just spamming away they know that this is this is the game yeah, they just don't they know it. just don't throw it away and they're pushing on to NBK here and he's gonna get one. He's gonna get any more. He's gonna get the second. Gonna go for the third. Nearly a hat trick by him, but Snyder's entering back. But he's very low on health and this can only be GG. Even Flusher calling it before. He's left all out to table walk. One out three. He has the orb in hand here. He sees one. Not gonna connect though, and yeah. I don't have that much faith in the orb of Devil Walk. Yeah. Devil Walk will go down at the hands of Scream, and it will be Titan to take down Fnatic 16 to 9. And Fnatic not having the best of tournaments, NIP not having the best of tournaments. Uh, uh, Titan though, they're doing pretty well. LDLC, yeah. they're doing well. Dignitas, doing very well also. So let's just have a look at some of the players' stats from that game. I think we should, who should we bring up first? Kenny, I don't know, maybe? Kenny, yeah, yeah, Kenny, let's bring up Kenny first. Kenny was very good. There he is. So 31 kills. Very big, big stats from Kenny. 31, 12, 1. That's, that is very sick. KD on 2.6 here in the best of one, killing 31 in this game. And he was just... I didn't even notice him like to be that strong in this game, yeah. but apparently he just managed to get kills pretty much in every round. So then you're just taking up those kills. And great performance by Kenny, who's also been playing very well in the SLTV style ladder. So Kenny's proving to 